So thank you all very much. Good morning. Thanks for joining us for the formal opening of Albuquerque's newest city park, Wantabo Hills Park. I think we realize now more than ever the value of parks to a community. And the value of parks in Albuquerque has never been higher. You know, and opening a new park is really, it's a special day for not just our department, but for the whole community. Opening a new park is, it's a lot like welcoming the birth of a child, really. Uh, you wait for it with a lot of eagerness and anticipation. Uh, when the big day arrives, the park is fresh and it's exciting and new and it's full of unlimited future potential. So the community has been looking forward to this day for several years. The first efforts to uh, establish Wantabo Hills Park, I believe started in 2017. So it's actually been a pretty rapid process to get to today's formal opening. And the park has had many, many uh, parents and many uh, tias and tios and people who have helped support uh, this project and without whom we never would have reached today. Uh, some of those uh, folks are here with us today and you're going to hear from them shortly. Uh, in particular, City Councilor Don Harris. Unfortunately, State Representative Abbas Akil could not join us today, but we do have Carrie Lujan from the Wantabo Hills Neighborhood Association. I'd also like to recognize uh, Greg Miller and Justin Leatherman of uh, MRWM Landscapes, who are our architects on the project, and Aaron Scott, the president of Lee Landscapes, whose staff and company constructed this beautiful park. I also want to recognize the role of some of the Parks and Recreation staff who played such a principal role in this project. Uh, Deputy Director David Flores is with us here today, uh, the project coordinator Jesse Scott, and the, in particular the construction supervisor Leroy Martinez, who just retired after a long career with the city. Unfortunately, uh, Leroy couldn't join us. <clears throat> and as I said, we'll hear from some of our community leaders here in just a second. Wantabo Hills Park is the 292nd park in one of the best urban park systems in the country. We have the most park and open space acreage per capita in the country. Presently, 87% of Burkeños live within a 10 minute walk or a half mile distance of a park, open space, or trail. This is awesome. And in fact, Albuquerque is far above the national average of 55% in this metric. Obviously, community growth in the Four Hills area created the need for new parks and green space. And the nine acres here at Wantabo Hills Park uh, with a phase one investment of $1.2 million is meeting that need. And it's also going to provide new access to open space trails in the Tejeras Arroyo area. Wantabo Hills Park uh, is destined to be a citywide attraction for its unique design, which takes advantage of the, of the topography here in working with the land to create a uniquely designed and experience uh, for a park. And this park is going to get even better than what you see today. Phases, phase two will feature two giant slides coming down the embankment behind me here, uh, one of which will be an 80 foot long embankment slide. Phase two will also include some trails leading to another small plaza at the top of the ridge additional grass areas, and a dog park located across the street. So all in all, this is a phenomenal new uh, improvement and asset for our city and for this neighborhood, and it never would have happened without the incredible community leadership represented here uh, by City Councilor Don Harris and the Wantabo Hills Neighborhood Association. So without further ado, I'd like to turn over the mic to Councillor Harris, and then we'll hear from Carrie Lujan. Councillor Harris has been a tireless advocate for this project, lending not only the financial support from the City Council,
but his energy and commitment to the vision to complete the project. Thank you so much, Councillor Harris. Well, uh, Director Simon knows a lot more about the actual um, nuts and bolts of, of, and of how this park got built and started and where it's going, and I really appreciate him for that. And I don't have a whole lot to say because what city councilors do in terms of vision and, and really collecting the resources, and really we've been collecting the money for this park for probably a lot longer than 2017. I think going back, really when I was elected in 2005, um, one of the things we looked here and said, well, this needs a park as this community grows, but it's probably a little bit too premature then. And then when we built the Four Hills Park, uh, there were some folks in the administration at that time, in the Barry administration, who actually tried to talk me out of it. He said, you know, we're going to build a really big park here. We don't need that one up there. And I said, no, we're going to build it. So then we got that one done, and that's an award-winning park. And, and now this one, I'm sure, is going to win lots of awards. It seems that everything this park department does um, wins national awards. I mean, it is incredible. Standing here as a city councilor, one thing I love about the city of Albuquerque is that everyone who works for the city of Albuquerque makes me look a lot smarter than I am, a lot better than I am, like I have better vision than I do. Um, this is something that really what I did is work with the neighborhood and and uh, just work very hard to collect the votes on the council and get, go to Santa Fe and work with our legislators to, to pull the money here. Uh, but all the design, all the vision, all of that comes from David Flores and, and his team um, who really, I, I mean, we just have some of the most talented people in the country. Um, and you can see when you look around. And I'm just uh, very blessed uh, to be able to stand here and be part of it and to take credit, which I guess I will. Um, but otherwise, uh, you know, enjoy this park. This is going to be a really it's just something special for this very special community. Uh, we have, we're going to have close to 2,000 homes here eventually, I think. Um, so that's close to 10,000 people. Um, you know, they, this is a fair-sized community. Um, it, it's bigger than a lot of towns um, in, in New Mexico. This is going to be, and that doesn't even include um, uh, Four Hills Park, actually not quite 10,000 people, probably six or seven. Um, thousand people are going to be living potentially in this community which is really a small town in and of itself compared to New Mexico standards. So this is just going to make this uh, this housing development this um, uh, really more of a community where people are going to come together and, and build wonderful memories. And thank you so much Mr. Simon, Director Simon for uh, for having and marshalling all the talent that you do in your agency uh, to make this happen. Um, first, I'd like to say thank you so much to um, the city of Albuquerque for this park. We are so um, grateful. We have been fighting for, my husband and I have been fighting for a park since we moved in um, back in 2013. Um, my husband's been closely working with Councillor Harris and um, before we even had kids. So we're so excited to see this um, come into fruition and see all the phases. We're patiently waiting. I know all the families here have been driving by pretty much weekly and posting it, um, seeing the progression of the park. My kids have been wanting to see the progression per every week we drive by. Um, so now we're just so excited to have this in our backyard and it has exceeded our expectations. So thank you to the architects and, you know, everybody involved. It's a beautiful park and we can't wait to share it with adjacent communities and meet people from, um, the different communities around us and f to have a place for our families and for our fan and for our, um, neighbors to be able to congregate and meet new friends and come together as, with kids and um, enjoy the park. So thank you so much, the city of Albuquerque, the architects, and Councillor Harris for um, making this happen. We are so grateful and we can't wait for the other phases to also be um, done with. So thank you. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. Uh, yeah, without the engagement and support and commitment of, of uh, neighborhood and community, uh, people who care about their community, none of this would, would happen. And, and your partnership uh, with the council is, is proof of that. So I just want to describe how we're going to uh, kind of complete 
today's event here a little bit. Uh, when I'm finished uh, speaking, we're going to walk uh, up for the official slide ribbon cutting of the park. So we're going to go up to the slide off the top plaza here. And uh, a couple of my key assistants, Sophia and Leo, are going to help me uh, cut the ribbon officially. So as I was saying uh, a moment ago, you know, parks are investments. They're investments in family, children, and community. And they're really investments in the power of play, which sparks so many good things in children and adults. You know, the Parks, the parks and Recs Department, we look forward to caring and looking after this, this place. But truly achieving the full potential of this park, it's going to require the whole community. And I'm so happy to hear Carrie talk about welcoming the city to this wonderful uh, new, new spot and sharing it with the entire community. And achieving that potential means filling this park with activity and joy and citizens caring for the park with their time and attention. But let's begin with the simple joys of play. And there's no better way to do that than to start with a ceremonial slide. So I am gonna ask Sophia and Leo to help me uh, do the honors. And I will say two more things. First of all, this playground used to be closed, Cerrado. This park is now open, abierto. So let's start the fun.